Future Foundation oscillating dysrheometer is efficient, simple and reliable testing equipment to measure cure characteristics of vulcanizable rubber compound. Future Foundation Rheometer is designed in compliance with ASTM 2084 and ISO 3417. It is a tabletop model for user-friendly operation. The body of machine is molded of 16 gauge SS sheet and powder coated to withstand industrial harsh environment. A test piece of compound is contained in a sealed test cavity under positive pressure and maintained at specified elevated temperature. A rotor biconical disc is embedded in the test sample which then oscillates through a small specified angular arc of 1 or 3 degrees. The torque required to oscillate the disc depends upon the stiffness of rubber compound which increases with increase in cross-link or curing of compound. The torque versus time graph so produced is recorded and analyzed for torque and time results. The temperature is controlled by PID controller with PT100 RTD temperature sensors. Future Foundation uses low voltage heaters in direct contact with dyes so that recovery and maintenance of temperature is precise. The machine houses dedicated CPU to capture, analyze and send data to the PC. Future Foundation uses solid state electronics for trouble free operation. Angular arc of 1 degree or 3 degrees. Future Foundation oscillating this rheometer comes with complete computer system loaded with custom built software. Software is menu driven and user friendly. The sample can be continuously tested by just altering the batch number each time. Once the test is complete, the software automatically calculates torque and time values which are displayed on the screen. Software has built-in statistical quality control. It has user-definable three quality control gates based on which pass and fail criteria can be implemented. All reports can be printed out on any window based printer. A test piece is placed on the rotor and the test is started by pressing the start button on the monitor. As the sample heats up, the sample undergoes curing. This increase in stiffness or cure is displayed on the screen as torque versus time graph. At the end of the test, the software calculates the results and displays on the screen. Calibration is performed with the help of a calibrated torsion spring. The torque values of which are known at desired angular displacement. Calibration is traceable to NABL labs. 